the first time in a week, no curfew tonight in Raleigh. Mayor Baldwin said that while there are still some challenges to work through, the curfew did help the community pause from the violence that happened during the previous weekend. Now, one of the challenges that Baldwin is referring to is the relationship between police and the people in the community. For years, local advocacy groups have been calling for greater accountability as well as transparency within our local law enforcement, but they say little change has been made. Our Colleen Quigley is live in Raleigh tonight digging deeper into what the future might hold. Yeah, Marius and Angela, you may have heard about this campaign because it's been trending all over social media. It's called hashtag eight can't wait. And it's a list of reforms aimed at reducing police violence, something Raleigh's mayor says she wants her department, the police department, to take a look at. A lot of local departments already following several of these policies, but one local activist we spoke to said these policies don't carry any weight if they're not being properly enforced. It's called Eight Can't Wait, created by Campaign Zero. Eight reforms for law enforcement agencies aimed at reducing police violence, such as requiring de-escalation techniques and warning before shooting, as well as bans on chokeholds and strangleholds and a duty for officers to intervene if another officer is using excessive force. According to the Eight Can't Wait website, Raleigh's police department follows five out of eight of these policies. The mayor wants a police advisory board to review the rest. What I believe will come out of uh, the advisory board is an opportunity to further review our policies and, and make them even stronger than they are. The chokeholds and strangleholds, mm -hmm. you guys don't have a ban on those, but that's not in part of their training. That is not. Wake County Sheriff Gerald Baker says his department also follows several of these policies. Require use of force continuum. We have that. But wants his department to examine de escalation techniques, pointing to last Saturday when a group tried to storm a Sally port during a protest. We're commanding you to not come here, and you fail to comply with that, you know. So that, that was de escalation attempt on our part. But attorney Don Blagrove with Emancipate NC says these policies have no value if they aren't enforced by departments. There have got to be real, tangible, and transparent consequences for violating the rules. Now, I did reach out to the Durham Police Department because it appears the data being used on the 8 Can't Wait website for Durham is outdated. The Durham Police Department sending me a statement saying, in part, our policies are currently aligned with the 8 Can't Wait recommendations. I also reached out to the Durham Sheriff's Office. They also told me they follow many of the 8 Can't Wait policies. So if you want to read more about what either of those departments are doing, just head over to our website, cbs17.com. We've got it outlined for you there. But for now, we're Reporting live in Raleigh, Colin Quigley, CBS 17 News.